Phosphorus is one of the major plant nutrients in the soil. It is a constituent of plant cell essential for cell division and development of the growing tip of the plant. For this reason, it is vital for seedling and young plants. Phosphorus is an essential nutrient both as a part of several key plant structure compounds and as a catalysis in the conversion of numerous key biochemical reactions in plants. Phosphorus is noted especially for its role in capturing and converting the sun's energy into useful plant compounds. Phosphorus is a vital component of DNA, the genetic memory unit of all living things. It is also a component of RNA, the component that reads the DNA genetic code to build proteins and other compounds essential for plant structure, seed yield, and genetic transfer. The structure of, the, of both DNA and RNA are linked together by phosphorus bonds. Phosphorus is a vital component of ATP, the energy unit of plants ATP forms during photosynthesis, has phosphorus in its structure and process from the beginning of seedling growing through to the formation of brain and maturity. Next is the phosphorus cycle. Phosphorus move in a cycle through rocks, water, soil and sediments and organisms. The key step of phosphorus cycle is over time rain and weathering that cause rocks to release the phosphate ions and other minerals. The inorganic phosphate will then distribute, distribute in soils and water. Next, plants will take it up from the soil and the organic forms of phosphate will be made available to plants by bacteria that break down the organic matter to inorganic forms of phosphorus. After that, the phosphorus in the soil will end up in the waterways and eventually oceans. So phosphorus is found in two forms, namely organic and inorganic. These two forms together make up the total soil phosphorus. Although total soil phosphorus Phosphorus is generally high with concentration ranging from 200 to 6,000 round per arch. 80% of this phosphorus is immobile and not available for uptake by the plant. Approximately 30 to 65% of total soil phosphorus is in organic form, which are not available for plant while the remaining 35-70% to 70 is in organic form. Organic form of phosphorus is include dead plant or dead animal residue and soil microorganism. Soil microorganism play a role key in processing and transforming this organic form of phosphorus into plant available form. The organic for phosphorus form can be classified to exist in three different pools. Plant available phosphorus. This pool is comprised of an inorganic phosphorus dissolved in water or soil solution that is readily available for plant uptake. Salt phosphorus. This phosphorus pool is comprised of inorganic phosphorus attached to clay surface, iron, aluminium, and calcium oxidized in soil. The phosphorus in this pool is released slowly for the plant uptake. Mineral phosphorus This phosphorus pool is comprised of primary and secondary phosphate mineral present in soil. Example of primary phosphorus mineral include apatite, stringite, and vericite. The secondary phosphorus mineral include calcium, iron, and aluminium phosphate. The release of phosphorus from this pool is extremely slow and occur when the mineral water and dissolve in water in salt water. 
Next is factor affecting phosphorus fixation in soil. Soil pH has a profound influence on the amount and manner in which soluble phosphorus become fixed. Above pH 9, PO4 3 negative dominates but H2 PO4 is still present. Different mechanism of phosphate operate at different pH level. Next is the organic matter. During the composition of organic matter, various organic acids are produced which solubilize phosphate and other phosphate bearing minerals and thereby lower phosphate fixation. The decrease in phosphate fixation due to presence of sufficient organic matter in soil may be described by the following reaction. A. By the formation of phosphohumic complex that are easily assimilated by plants. B. Through the replacement of the phosphate by the humid ion and ion exchange reaction. C. Forming coating on sesquioxide oxide particle by humus to form a protective cover. Temperature affect the speed of chemical reaction. High temperature are expected to slightly increase the solubility of phosphatic compounds like apatites, hydroxide and carbonate, octa calcium phosphate, variside, strength guide and etc. Mineralization of phosphorus from soil organic matter, crop residues and other organic waste are enhanced with the increase in temperature by stimulating the activity of appropriate microorganism. Phosphorus generally increase with the increase in temperature. Overlining increase the fixation of phosphorus by forming more insoluble phosphorus compound in soil, beside phosphate, molybdate, and borate. Also fixed in the soil of mostly acidic reaction. Majority of the factor discussed earlier for the fixation of phosphate in soil also affect the fixation of molybdenum and boron in soil. Next, the sources of phosphorus are from recycled phosphorus from digested feed and food and rock phosphate. A large portion of the phosphorus that feeds to livestock or poultry is recycled back into the food system in the form of manure. Researchers are also looking for other ways to retrieve and reuse phosphorus from dairy farms. Other than that, the rocks contains a form of calcium phosphate in which the calcium and phosphorus bind tightly, making it difficult for rock phosphate to dissolve in soil. Chemists discovered that rock phosphate could be turned into an effective fertilizer. The process involved treating rock phosphate with a strong acid. This can form a water-soluble, highly effective, synthetic fertilizer. The amount of rock phosphate that's suitable for mining is limited, making this source of phosphorus unsustainable for the long term. In addition, because synthetic phosphorus fertilizer are designed to be water-soluble, phosphorus can move easily move from the agricultural land into our water supplies. Phosphorus plays a key role in crop productions and complex energy transformations that are necessary to all life as a main ingredient in ATP. It is also a central component of DNA and RNA and is necessary for building protein and other compounds. Phosphorus is required by the plant from the seedling stage through to maturity and has a measurable impact on crop quality and yield. There are 10 ways phosphorus adds in plant growth and plant health. Firstly, enables photosynthesis energy transformation. Second, builds nucleic acid proteins and enzymes. Facilitates root growth. Straightens stems and stalk. Improves flower formation and seed production. Promotes crop uniformity. Contributes to earlier maturity. Increase disease resistance. Improve overall crop quality. And lastly, facilitates nitrogen fixation abilities of legumes.